And welcome back, guys, to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Rolo Plays, and the last episode, we made it uh, out of the uh, thingy. That, the, the plateau. Oh my god, I can't talk today. Anyway, I've tried to record this episode once before, uh, and I got kind of upset because I noticed a few things. One, I missed this. Uh, I missed this shrine right here, and also because my recording stopped after about a minute. It could have been worse, it could have been more than a minute, but that's a chest in the water. Hold on, I'm gonna get that. I wonder what that is. See, this is why playing this game over is really cool. Okay, which one is it? Okay, it's this one. Cryonis, because I can go like this. Ready? Boop. Climb on up here. Make another one. And then climb. Whoa, that's not what I intended to do at all. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Let's chill out for a second, sh shall we? There we go. See, I told you I'd figure it out. Come on. Climb on up. Easy, bro. Easy! Alright, um, let's open. No, don't climb down. Open it. What are you doing, you silly? What is this? Purple rupee! Wow, this is the first time we've actually encountered rupees. Rupees are the currency in Zelda. Um, I don't know why I'm explaining that. I feel like that should be just a universal known thing at this point. <laughs> like, we all know that, uh, that the U.S. is a dollar, um, and that, uh, the Zelda one is a is a rupee. That that should just be common knowledge at this point. Anyway, let's examine this. How many days have passed in the game? Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna bring up a few things. Um, one being that my let's plays are going to go from being 20 minutes to 30 minutes. I'm I'm glad I made this change so early on. Uh, because I think if I'm going to play, I'm I'm only allowed to play game for about an hour a day. That's like my only a lot of time. It's time that my son takes a nap. So I'm going to play every, I'm going to, instead of playing 40, I'm going to play for an hour, get 30 minute videos out. And that'll be that for that. Anyway, here we go. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Bosch Kala. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Awesome, dude. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway, the wind guides you. This is actually a really cool one. Ready? Whee! So fun. Such a fun little shrine. I got some more amber. That's actually a decent amount of amber we've gotten. We've gotten two already, and it's only episode five. Uh, not that amber is like a big deal or anything, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of nifty that we already got two things of it, especially from chests in here. Is, I don't even remember using amber in my first run through of the game like for anything important, so I don't know. But let's see what's over here. What was the point of this? But just to get us back to that side, I, I guess that makes sense. But why would you, what, if you, like, you couldn't figure out the puzzle, you have a way to get out? Is that what the point is? Because it's really not hard to figure this puzzle out. Hold on, actually. Because I'm pretty sure there's another chest over here. Yeah, there is. But I think I can just grab that with, uh, what do you call it? No, I can't. Okay. That changes the game slightly. Not really, but it does to an extent. I, I think I can figure it out. I mean, besides the fact... I could probably just go from here and just... Yeah. No! No shit, damn it. No, we're dead. <laughs> oh boy. Do I have to start from the beginning? Oh, no, I start from right here. Oh, that's perfect, actually. I'm okay with that. Are you sure we can't make it? Ah, whatever. I don't want it anyway. It's probably not even that important. Let's talk to Bosch Kala. I love his little hat. I was very... I'm very anxious now to make these recordings because as the further I get into the series, the more this is going to be uh, stressful. You know what I mean? Because 
if a recording gets so messed up, of course I can just be like, yeah, guys, I'm sorry you're missing 30 minutes of content. Uh, and I don't think it'll be that much of an effect if it's just an exploration thing, but what if I'm, like, doing one of the Guardians? What if it's a cutscene-heavy episode? Like, yes, I save, I manually save before, ev like, every episode, just in case, and oh gosh, we're, we're here at night. Oh, crap. Um, is there a thing nearby I can nap at? I could just kill the Bokoblins. They're all napping. I could probably just nap right here, right when they're asleep. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Am I able to do that? Anyway, am I allowed to... Yeah, I'm allowed to just sit here. I would love to pass the time till the morning. Um, I'm going to show you what this is. I'm not at fighting, so please, if I die, I apologize. But I should be able to take these guys on, now that I'm thinking about it. Do I want to use a claymore? I really don't want to use these weapons, but... Yep. Done. Come on, bitch. You're really the survivor of the group? Let's go. Damn it. I didn't want to use that. Oh, well. Whack. And one more should do it. You're done. I I did that pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna do that as well as I did. Alright. Now we can get this treasure up here. You'll find these little encampments basically all over the place. And sometimes it'll be uh, bokoblins. Sometimes they'll be even worse. Uh, am I using a soldier's bow right now? I am. Okay. I don't have that many arrows though. I would... You can get a bunch later on very easily, but I'm um, currently... I don't want a Boku Club, do I? I'm kind of okay with the sword I have now. But I'll take some Bokoblin Fangs. I don't want torches. Alright, my neighbors, man, they've been really loud the past few days. Like, I bet they can say the same thing about me because I'm doing a Let's Play, and Let's Plays, you get... you Admittingly, people get kind of loud. Like, ooh, cool, we got more shrooms. People can get kind of loud during LPs, but man, I don't know. <laughs> like, they're downstairs, and I hear them pretty loud. I never heard my neighbors in Nebraska. Like, ever. Like, even in, uh, when we were in this place called Fountain Glen Apartments. Uh, shout out to them. They have very nice apartments. Kind of, the staff is 50-50. Wait a minute, the end is here. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well... Let's just say it's better than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Who, sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that is not the only strange thing that happened. These, those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what that means, don't you? The end is here. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if, if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, that guardian is worth watching. It's just like the ones from those old stories. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Ha, huh, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Well, thank you for the warning, sir. So today, I woke up feeling very... Oh, I could have just napped here. Damn. I felt very good. Very healthy. Because uh, I've been on a diet for the past week or so. Um, and I've dropped weight dramatically. Like, the first week, I dropped a lot of the weight that I was worried about having um, on my body. Um, and I'm very ha happy about that. But at the same time, I'm kind of getting nervous. Because I'm starting to hit that slow peak. Oh, gosh. I didn't think he was actually going to attack me. Come here, bitch. 
You want to throw hands? Okay, I guess you don't. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. It sounds like my son is refusing to go to sleep. I don't think that's good timing. <laughs> uh, he'll be fine. He's His room is like the safest room in the world, I swear. Like... You're done, and you're done. No, you're not, but I'm gonna get you. Whoa, hello. You wanna try that again? I just want your meat, bro. That's all I wanted was your meat. Ugh. Let the traveler claim more break, I don't care. Well, he's dead. Okay, changing weapons to the rusty broadsword. Cause why not? Where is this guy? Got him. Beautiful. Perfection. Mwah. A lot of people I've come to notice don't really do these as much whenever I watch uh, run-throughs. Seared steak, yummy. They don't fight these guys. They kind of just avoid them, which I totally understand because sometimes it feels irrelevant to do it. Kind of like uh, in the new Paper Mario, it feels irrelevant to fight people. I kind of want to play that game, though. I've, I haven't played it personally. I've watched uh, a stream of it, uh, a few streams of it, actually, uh, by Josh Jepson. Uh, well, I thought that stuff would break. I'm sorry. Can I just take the Boku Club? The Boko Club? God, I gotta stop saying Boku. For those of you who don't know what I was referring to, by the way, in the first episode, I was talking about the term Boku. There is an anime called Boku no Pico. Uh, don't watch it. That is the first thing I ever heard about it. Uh, my sister watched it, and she actually made a parody of it that is no longer on YouTube due to copyright reasons, which, I mean, of course, copyright reasons. But, hold on, I'm gonna wait till my stamina gets up so I can just splash my way through this because I am not a fan of swimming in this game, down a river, with little to no stamina. Okay, thank God. I'm just trying to get to this tower, bro. The thing about Breath of the Wild, it's very easy to get off track from where you need to be. Like, I'm pretty sure there's probably a bridge that would have taken me to that tower if I just kept going the way I was going, but then I got sidetracked by the goblins, and now I'm over here, and we're halfway through an episode. Yeah, see, I could have just probably crossed through those rocks, which probably would have been a lot better. And I missed a, a, another encampment over there, but honestly, I think I'll be okay with missing that one. Uh, I haven't set any goals for episodes yet. Um, that is something that I used to do when I did Let's Plays back on my old account. Uh, I don't think I'm going to emulate that, though. I don't think that's a good method. I think the time restriction method's better, because... When you do what I was doing, I was purposely, uh, hold on, I'm let me kill this guy really quick. Whack, 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 whack. Who was he calling for? Oh, damn, okay. I got this. Whoa, you're a jerk, and you got a sword, and you killed me. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, um, so. <sighs> what to do from here? Well, what we can do is not fight those guys. <laughs> Instead, run away. Because apparently they will wreck my shit. Or, I can be a badass. And I can throw this. And then explode that and kill everybody. Except for this guy with his sword. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. He just straight up died. <laughs> he didn't even notice all of his friends being dead. Who are you going to call for, bitch? Nobody, because you are going to be dead too. And that's what I call vengeance. <laughs> anyway, let's collect all their little stuff. The cobbled horns and whatnot. Um, and head for this tower. I remember, if I remember correctly, this one's a little tricky. What? 
Yeah, because you have to... There are some of these where you need to have like an immense amount of stamina to get to them. Is that an Octorok? Please don't be an Octorok in here. Cool, Hyrule Bass. Okay. We should be in the clear here to get to the rest of it. Because these are hard to climb as it is, and some of them don't even have like little breathing points. Like you have to just climb the entire thing straight up, and that can take a lot of stamina. Dueling Peaks Tower, that is the area we're at. It's the Dueling Peaks. It's not no longer the, uh, you know what, the plateau. There is a tiny bug here, and I'm not having fun with it. It's trying to sneak, it, it snuck its way into my house because it's getting cold outside. It was 33 degrees this morning, bro. I am originally from Florida, and I live in Maine now, which is like the complete opposite of Florida. Like as opposite as you can get besides Alaska. So needless to say, I was a little perplexed that in October it's this cold. But summer actually didn't get that hot here. Like I don't think it hit 90, like at all, which... To me is heaven because I hate heat. How I lived in Florida my whole life, I'll never know. Anyway, we made it to the top. Which honestly, if this was a 20 minute episode, this would have been a good stopping point. But we're gonna continue even after this. I get to finally take a drink, and maybe I'll check out I'll check out my kid really quick. As you can tell we're activated. I'll be right back. Scanning area. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect that to be doing that. I expected that to be a lot longer. Anyway, he's fine. He was actually getting cuddled up to sleep like I thought. I'm just being paranoid. Normally I wait for him to be asleep, but today he just wouldn't cuddle me to sleep. So I was like, you know what? If you're going to be a big boy, wow, this area is a lot bigger than the first <laughs> area. Regional map extracted. Sheikah Slay updated. Additional functionality detected. Sheikah sensor. Searching for shrines. A sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. Awesome, bro. Now, on top of these two peaks, I believe are those two shrines I was talking about in the previous episodes. Uh, the ones that are twins of one another. The sensor indicator is placed near the minimap. Search the shrines by moving to the direction of the strongest signal. Yep, there is a nearby shrine here, and it is up there. Actually, there's usually a shrine, like, right around where these are. So actually, you know, there is one down here. Hold on. There's totally one down here. We're about to do another shrine, guys. I know there's one over here somewhere. I know there is. Because there's always a shrine right around where one of these are. I'm pretty sure it's on the other side. And I know there's ones on the top, but I'm not gonna go through that nonsense. Kill this choo-choo. Come here. These are the most interesting looking choo-choos to me, because they don't look anything like the choo-choos that I know of. See, it's not this way, it's only this way. Okay. So, how's everybody's day going? I have to go to work today uh, for the first time in about three days. I had two days off. Um, I, I was going to go in yesterday, but then I really just wanted to spend time with my family because I got the offer to go in if I wanted to, but I didn't have to. So I chose to spend time with my family. It's right there. I'm stupid. Anyway, I chose to spend some time with my family because, you know, I love my family and I just want to hang out with them all the time because they're the greatest huh so i did that and i don't think anybody's gonna give me shit for it because if they do i'm gonna be like guys i just want to see my kid is that a problem whack cool we got more amber and flint does that mean we can start fires finally because man the Ridahi shrine I don't know how many of these i'm gonna do in this series i like to do enough where i can get 
you know, enough, uh, how do I word this? I get enough health and stamina to beat the game easily. I don't think I'm gonna 100% this game by any means, because if I do, this will be like a 200 episode series because I'm just genuinely not that great at the game. I'm thinking about doing the DLC. Uh, the DLC uh, link gets this cool uh, thing that we'll talk about at a later time. I totally know what this one is. This one's easy. Hold on. This one's totally easy. Oh, damn, really? Never mind, I'm just dumb. And now this will move. <laughs> I'm stupid. I was like, oh, I got this. I'm just gonna place the bomb on top and eh, detonate. That was a little ballsy of me. I could have just gone flying off, but it's cool. We're good. We're alive for now. Okay. Did I do it? I did do it. Awesome. Yo. Oh, damn. It's over there. I totally thought it would be up there. My mistake. A bit dumb on my part, but I should be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, but yeah. So this is already almost over. What? That was fast. Okay. Did I get oh, I didn't. Alright. Try again. There we go. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Why? It's whatever. I got it. I just lost a little bit of health. That was dumb. That, why did that have to go so quick? I don't get that. So can I do Magnesis on this one? No? That's silly. Unless the what they expect me to do. Ugh, I'm not gonna do that. That's too much effort. That like, are you kidding? They expect me to bring one of those barrels over, drop it so that thing elevates so when it brings yeah, no, screw that. Screw that. Some of these are a little bit why would I wanna do that? Anyway, we got another spirit orb. We're killing it with the spirit orb department already. Six shrines down, bro. Six. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. This is going to... I'm having a blast with this series, guys. I'm not kidding. I love Zelda. Like, if I had to say my favorite Zelda, it's probably this one now. I think I was talking about this in another episode where I was like, this is definitely my favorite Zelda. This is probably my favorite now. Before this, it was definitely Wind Waker. Um, Wind Waker was the first one I ever got myself. Uh, somebody brought it up to me. They were like, yo, you might want to play uh, Wind Waker. And I was like, what is Wind Waker? And they were like, it's a Zelda game. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. At the point, I had no interest in Zelda games. I was purely an RPG guy. Uh, I'd only play stuff like Final Fantasy and shit. Uh, very lame of me, I know. Anyway, um, so... He and uh, my friend ended up being like, "Yo, I uh, can help you out. Here's uh, wow, you can just completely escape these from these guys, huh?" Um, he's like, "I'm gonna let you borrow my game, and if you like it, you can keep it." Like such a nice dude for this, and he let me borrow it, and I kept it, and I loved Wind Waker. I played the, <laughs> I don't want to swear too bad, but I played the fucking shit out of Wind Waker, guys. I mean, I was obsessed. With that game, there it is. There's a shrine. Oh, this is actually is a fun one. Oh, this is a really fun one. I think. Hadahammer. Man, can somebody please, at the end of this series, make a compilation of all the times I butcher the <laughs> names of these shrines? Because let me tell you, I... I'm not doing the best job. I'm very glad these recordings aren't messing up, because I restarted my laptop to record these. <laughs> 
I'm very happy that I'm doing the 30 minute episodes. They're yes, they're bigger files, but I'll get through the game a lot quicker now. Like I'll get through the game by the end of the year and I want to start 2021 with a bang. I have a really good idea for what I have a lot of games planned for 2021. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am ha to hammer, to hammer, to ha to who? <laughs> the water guides. This is such an easy one. We're gonna just no. Bam. Some kid just screamed. Bam. Easy, bro. This is definitely one of the more cool shrines. Cause watch. All right. I remember now. This one is fun. Uh, it just takes a little bit of thought. All right, so if we drop one right here. And one right here. Hold on. Need one right there so it can't fall. We break that one and we leave one here so it can't go through. And that should do it. Yep. Are you kidding? Okay. How am I supposed to do that? Huh. Okay, hold up. Damn, okay. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, damn, I did it somehow. Somehow that worked in my favor. I guess I'll unlock that. I guess that's it. Wow, okay. I'll take it. I'm not I'm not going to fight it. I got it. I, I'll go with it. <sighs> do I have to? I do. I do have to. Can I just, does it work like that? Can I just go like that? Oh, I can, but I shouldn't have, because I'm stupid. Oh my God, why did I go for it? That seems like an easy one. I did have it. I bet I can still do it. Hold on, just don't die. Okay, or not. Just don't even attempt to do it, I guess. Jesus, what was that? Nope, not doing it. I'm already dying. I got it. Whatever. I'm going with it. I probably had the right idea too, but I just don't want to, you know, get that game over screen. Especially when we're so close to the end of an episode. Holy crap. <sighs> Let's do this. Spirit orb. Spirit orb. One thing I do want to say before I end this episode, um, I really appreciate the amount of uh, support I've gotten since starting these videos. Uh, I've only uploaded two episodes so far, and I just got to say, it is, it's very cool to see my sub count be at 68. It was at 57, I think, when I started uploading, so it's gone up a little bit. Um, and just there's people who I've uh, recently started supporting as well who have immediately returned the favor and even watched some of my stuff. And I really appreciate that. That we as a community are, honestly, the Let's Play community has been dying for a long time. And oh my God, it's Beetle. It's an honor, sir. Anyway, um, most people, uh, from my knowledge, uh, have already, you know, this, this is a dying you know, idea. Let's Playing has been dying for a long time. Like, unless you're a top LP right now, it's very hard to get in the spotlight of doing it. And 
just a little bit of support is awesome. So thank you guys for watching. And in the next episode, we might make it to Kakariko Village. I think we will. I'm pretty sure we will. It's really just right up that hill, I think. Let me check my map. Yeah, it's it's right over here. Yeah, I don't know, because we only made it there to there this episode, so I don't know. We'll find out, though. We've got a lot more to come in this series, I swear. So catch you guys on the flip side, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Thank you for watching.